hello everyone in the previous video we stored our image and post into the database and project as well as right so now the time is to throw some session whenever we are uh, our post or created successfully so i want to throw the sessions but before this i want to show one more thing to you that here i'm basically uh, let me go there and uh, cut this out from there or we can remain this here so here uh, basically i'm going to add a db transaction i already told you that uh, what is db transaction so here i want to apply this db transaction so you can apply this using facade or you can use this db transaction like this or you can use this uh, db uh, start uh, uh, what's the name of this db transaction oops what's the start of this let right, me search this on the google db transaction in laravel oh it's a begin transaction i remember it's a begin transaction oops begin transaction and then after this you need to add your logic right and uh, here whenever your logic is completed successfully so you need to uh, run here db commit that your logic is executed successfully otherwise you want to roll back right so here i want to roll back so if uh, something went wrong so i want to roll back so for example uh, this image is created but this post having some issues due to column mm, invalid column like I made a typo here so it's not going to store this out and this will also roll back the first one right so that is the uh, beauty of this uh, DB transaction so here I started this DB transaction and doing this here okay so now let's uh, run this out so before this executing, I'm going to show you that there would be around uh, three images, right? And we have uh, how many posts? We have a three post, right? So here I'm going to create a new post, and it's not going to create it because I made a typo here. And let me choose uh, a file. Okay, and let's submit this now again. It says general gallery does not have a default value insert into the post okay so it means that it's throwing the issue due to this uh, type of mistake and if i go to the database and now check that there is uh, no image created here right if i go here and give it a refresh and yes there is no image why there is no image the image is created here at this interval and then it's created this post but it's failed due to this one and uh, this will not be executed it's uh, rolled back right so it's rolled back this first one how you sure that how i'm sure that it's rolled back uh, if i go here and let me do it correct and whenever i'm going to store this image so now this primary key will be start from uh, 5 not from 4 why because it will be incremented when we did a typo so it will store but it's rolled back so now it's going to store this with the file so here I'm going to give it a refresh and yes it's success so let's give it a refresh and let's take eye on this so there is would be a 4 I don't know why it's not uh, oh we are in the post so let me go to the galleries so one two three four but this one contain not four it's containing directly five so it means that first image is stored and then it's rolled back so whenever we saved new image so it started it from the four right so it's added to four plus one it will be become five so that is the beauty of this tv transaction if you made any type of so these uh, this uh, first one dependent record will be rolled back okay so after this i want to set a session to display a message to a user that uh, something is happened so here i'm going to create a request and a request and call this session method so there are two ways so you can use a flash session or you can use the 
put session right so put is basically a session which is told permanently you need to um, kill this in uh, by performing we need to destroy this session but this uh, flash session is automatically destroyed whenever it's executed one time so that's why i'm using this for the toaster because we want to display the toaster at once when the record is created so let's try to first uh, parameter would be the key of your session name and then second would be the value so here i'm going to that uh, post uh, created created successfully successfully save this one and after this i want to redirect uh, the user on the index page i'm going to use this two route property which is added in the laravel 9 so post uh, dot uh, index right so i want to redirect this on this post dot index great so for now it's empty so we are going to redirect our user on the empty page where we will display all of our posts so now let's go here and uh, create it again and it will be redirected on the auth slash post and yes it's redirected on the auth slash post there is no message why because now we are not in the store we are in the index and uh, it's um, through this session but we don't have anything in the index method so that's why it's not viewing anything so in the next uh, we are going to create a new blade file and in the blade we are going to use this session but i will uh, prefer you to use this session into main file and then call them whenever our a post is created or something other is created so it's going to throw this session so i'm going to store all of these session into the master file so where is the master file so this one is auth.blade.is this, this is our master file so here after this script i'm going to add all of the logic so you can use blade directive here also i'm going to use the blade directive here and here i'm going to check that um, session first aid is also available here so here i'm going to check that has okay alert success alert success then what i'm going to do if the alert is success i want to display oops not section i want to display and if okay and if uh, this one is has success so i want to display this uh, success message right so i don't want to display this simple message uh, here i want to create a toast right so how to create the toast uh, in your application so there is a very simple so just go to here and type sweet alert so you can use any of the toast like jquery toast but i'm going to use a sweet alert so these are also very pretty alert we need to just add this cdn so i'm going to add this cdn into the master blade so just go to the head section and add this so here i'm going to add this out save this one and go back yes i gone back and how you can call this out this one and i want to call this swell not this one okay that's good job it's good right so here i'm going to call this one so i want to test that is it working or not so here just add it without any nothing uh, i don't want to apply any condition so it's so uh, it's not to uh, displaying why because we are not loading anything so let me go to the controller so here basically we are executing this one and uh, we are not executing any of the method it's basically loading this index right so here i want to open the let's go to the website to uh, post blog in the blog i want to create to uh, here we created this index and in the index i'm going to no i don't want to go to this index i want to go to this uh, post and in the post i want to because i'm in the administrator side i'm not working on the client side for now php and here i'm going to display the index page right so let me extend this out uh, with the main layout extend so it would be a layout hash auth and here i'm going to use this section uh, content to render my content into the parent one 
index page and in the controller I'm going to call this index method so return view and post dot index okay let's save this one and give it a refresh so it's going to load us an index method and yes it's loading index and whenever we will uh, load this into the full column so this will be edited at the bottom and if i give it a refresh so our toaster is also working right and uh, yes it's playing good job so now we want to display this on a specific interval when our session is set so here i want to display this when when our this alert has success session is set right i want to display good job as same string and here i want to display my custom message so what's the message so i want to display the session and here i'm going to call the get method so which is where i'm going to get the value of this session from this alert success key right so here i'm uh, basically i'm getting this uh, value and uh, saying that uh, here we, you, you can call the error success info or stuff like that so i want to display this for a success so that's why i added this success here so now uh, let's uh, create some post and return the user back on this same page okay so now let's close this one save this and let's use some data okay the post is created and it's returned back but it's not displaying a session so let's go to the console and check that what's the issue displaying promise failed put cache unexpected token on 32 let me review it what's the issue post on 3 2 1 here i'm calling this if session has Session, session. If session has alert success, let's explain. What's having this? Comma put three two one. Three two one. Three two one is this one. What's behaving like this? Okay. Unexpected uh, error not expecting this one. Hmm. So and if session has alert success good yeah maybe it's due to this one so i need to add this into the quotation we add this into the double quotation save this one and create post again create post choose an image okay so now it's displaying good job so it's uh, having issue due to this uh, these uh, quotes so i added these quotes and our issue is resolved so you can add your all of the session that uh, whenever you are going to alert uh, info or alert uh, update you can call this update here and uh, whenever the update is happened you want to display the info right so you can add this for the danger and uh, like this so you don't need to call them every time in your same blade so we added this in the master blade 
so this will be automatically called and remember this class would be not a danger this would be an error okay so uh, we successfully added our post we successfully added our DP transaction we added this into the database and we also throw this session that uh, our post is created successfully and in the next video I'm going to display here a page and display all of our post into a table and then perform different operations like edit view and I'll add this button so uh, uh, if you like this video please share your feedback and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned bye